I want to talk about electricity now. So you've probably seen something like this. This is a wire. And all electricity is is a way of moving energy down a wire. So if you have energy at this end um, and you want the energy to come out this end, uh, then you, you need to use electricity. I mean, one way of doing it is electricity. And you can think of it as, as marbles. Imagine that there's just a bunch of marbles in here that, that can move around. When you wiggle something over here, the marbles will wiggle over on this side too. And that those, those little marbles inside of wires are called electrons and they're very, very small. They're part of atoms. There's billions upon billions of them in here, but uh, all electricity is, is is moving these marbles or electrons around on a wire. So how do you move electrons? Well, you use a magnet. So I'm gonna now show you that you can actually make electricity using a magnet and moving it around on a wire, okay? So let's try this. Let's switch over here. So you have to have a coiled wire. You may be able to, see, hopefully you can see this. Um, this is just a little coil of wire wrapped around a pin, okay? And uh, if you move this magnet around the wire, it actually moves those little marbles around and you get electricity. And to prove it to you, I have an instrument here that's called an oscilloscope. And what this does is it can measure very small amounts of electricity, which is all we're gonna produce with this thing. So let me try to get a good view of this. So all you do is you hook up the little probe to each end of the wire. You see I'm shaking live performance. <laughs> okay, and then you have to zoom way in. Oops, have to organize it right. So if this is gonna work, we should be able to see pulses of electricity when I move this magnet across the wire. And sure enough, look at that. So when I move the magnet, it registers electricity coming out the side. And, if I, and it goes in different directions based on which way I move the magnet. So there you go, I've proven it to you that I, I'm just pushing electrons around and that's how I can deliver energy uh, to my house or all around from a power plant to wherever. Now, um, now this energy form is just me moving the magnet with my hand and that I don't wanna do this all day, so we need a better way to do it. <laughs> um, and so there's, we've actually designed machines that can do this. So this is just a, this thing is a hand crank. And if, if you can see in there, there's a little spinning uh, shaft. When I turn the crank, it turns the shaft and inside this generator are just a bunch of coils just like this and magnets. So this is just a really a, a better a, a better design of, um, of how to make electricity. And if I hook this guy up, uh, you'll see that it's much more effective at making electricity. And it's easier for me than just moving that magnet around. Although it's, it's basically the same thing. Jeez. So let's zoom out a little more. So now when I turn the crank, let's see what happens. There, you can see again that it's making Whoops, the wire came off. <laughs> um, it's making a bunch of electricity. And this is actually enough electricity that I can do something useful, like light up a light. And so I can turn myself, turning the crank into light by hooking it up to this little LED bulb. So let's see, if I now turn the crank, look at that. I'm actually making light by turning a crank. And again, that's just moving a magnet over wires, moving those little marbles around, making light. Okay, so this is great and all, but um, I still don't wanna sit here and turn this crank all day, it's the same problem. So I need to find a different energy source that will turn a crank for me and make electricity, okay? And so for that, we invented engines. And here is such a thing. Bring this down. So this is a small, real engine. It's called a Stirling engine. And um, here's where the fuel source is. And so this is gonna make heat. And then it's gonna turn, it's gonna move these pistons around. There's a piston in here and it's gonna push that back. And then it's gonna start coming back. And down here we have a little generator and a light, exactly like the little generator that I just had. So now I need to take an actual energy source. So here's where energy comes in. And I have a little uh, jar full of, it looks like it's a fuel. This is just like gasoline in your car. This is a chemical fuel. It's called ethyl alcohol. And so if I fill up my little gas tank here with this fuel, let's just get a little bit going in there. Whoops, sorry, can't see it. So I've now put some fuel in here and I put the little wick down and 
Yeah, let me put put some safety glasses on. Engineering, it's important to be safe. So now I'm just gonna light this little candle up. Uh, here we go. There, and so we have a little flame. And so this is my energy source. This is what we're gonna use instead of me turning the crank. And so I've put the, the energy source, can't even see the flame, but it's, it is on. So I've now put the energy source in position. And if I try to get the engine going, well, it's not going yet, but it takes a little while and then it gets, it starts going. So let me see if I can um, switch over to the other speaker. Hopefully you can still, hopefully you'll be able to hear this better. Come on, still not going. Oh, there it goes. I was going the wrong way. Almost, almost. Oh man, the wick isn't out far enough. There it goes, there it goes. So now it's kicking over. It's a little bit slower than usual, but um, there we go. The energy source is now moving the engine. I can just sit back and, and chill out and watch TV or, or whatever, whatever I want. And it starts making electricity and look down here. You'll see that this light is starting to light up. And that's just because all this rotation is moving magnets past, past the, the coils and pushing electrons around back and forth, just like, just like in this crank. And there, it's really going now. So this, my friends, is how electricity comes into your house. If you look at the outlet somewhere on your wall, there's a machine, not unlike this, taking some form of energy and turning it into rotation to move, uh, to move, to light up a light right here. So that's, that's what's happening. So there you go. Now, um, so what sources of energy do we use today? Well, here's a graph that shows that around the world, more than 80% of the energy of the world comes from fossil fuel, chemical fuel. Oh, let me switch my, switch my mic back. Um, all, most of the energy comes from fossil fuel in the gray. And then there's a little bit from wind and